Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is El Tiro, and today's Tutorial Thursday is going to be a little bit different from my others here. Instead of learning a move, we're going to learn about movement. So this is more of a conceptual type of tutorial to learn about knowledge in the dance. Some of you may be in first reaction be like, oh man, that's lame, I, really, I wanted to learn a tut and a combo, but think of it this way. If you were to learn how to play soccer, you wouldn't jump into doing bicycle kicks you would learn how to play the game, right? So today, we're gonna learn um, one of the biggest and most important things about freestyling starting out uh, as a dancer. I had to really think about this for a while and uh, after lots of thought, I finally came to the conclusion that if I show this clip to you of me dancing when I started out, which is really embarrassing and bad, um, that it should help inspire you and get to the point of this tutorial today. So without further ado, here's the clip I want to show you. Pretty bad, right? Well, check this out. When you start freestyling, at least when I did, and when I see most people show me their videos or when I watch for beginner dancers that are in the six month to a year range, a lot of time when they dance, they dance very rushed. So moving um, very quickly to the beat without rhythm and definitely offbeat. And that was me um, and I, I feel like that's a lot of people starting out. So the thing I want to explain in this video is the concept of patience. <laughs> I think the best uh, movement to use as an example with how patience can help you as a dancer is waving. For example, check this wave right here. So I'm trying to pretend this is a wave as when I first started out. It's very quick. And you notice a lot of people when they do their waves, especially starting out, they move so, so quick as if moving quicker makes the wave better. And in fact, that is totally not true. I always encourage, if you're going to do something, you have to learn how to do it slow before you can do it fast. And when you learn it slow, you get the opportunity to break down each body part that you use so when you do it fast, you have better control of what is what instead of just, you know what I mean? So patience, you know, is the virtue, but patience is, is the issue. So in, in, in freestyle dancing, we have all these dancers are coming out and they're learning how to glide and they're learning how to do head isos right off the top. And even though I wouldn't recommend doing that, so be it. However, then they get to the, the freestyle part of their dancing where they're kind of moving and transitioning and it's so like, oh, 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 oh. It's, it's really sloppy, right? So when you have patience when you dance, have the mindset that um, you're going to move slow before you move fast and all the moves you already know how to do and when you learn, I promise you it will help you develop into a very uh, clean and, and sharp freestyle as well. So here are a couple things that you can do to kind of help develop that patience when you dance. So the first kind of thing that you can do if you notice that you're freestyling and find yourself rushing is to kind of hit in different dime stop positions. So dime stops or when you move to a certain position and freeze and have a mini hit. Not really like a, a big hit, but more of like a frozen and kind of tense or flex of the muscles. So let's say if I find myself freestyling really fast and then I catch myself doing that, then I'll hit the beat on those boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, do. This move's gonna naturally slow down your movement. It'll give you a chance to listen to the rhythm of the beat on when to actually hit that snare and hopefully it will help you develop into other freestyle moves using that rhythm and beat and then you'll always have kind of a safeguard if you forget what you're doing or lose track or start going to the rush and you can always go back to the dime stops. So I know this tutorial had a lot more talking than doing but really patience is a key factor in your freestyle and it's so important to have that mentality of learning how to dance uh, slowly and with patience will help you progress as a, into one of those awesome dancers that one day will be a viral dancer. So what I really want to encourage you to do is post a video of your latest freestyle. And if you don't have one, make one and post it. 
And if you do that for me, what I'll do for you is I will check out your video and I will give you a thorough breakdown of your freestyle dance video. If you are serious about learning how to dance, make sure you check out my website, www.brandbillabong.com, which will have tutorials ready to download by August 15th. If you down or buy or download before August 15th, then you will get the dubstep edition for free. So check that out. And if you have any questions about this tutorial or have requests for next tutorial Thursday, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Brent Billabong or my Facebook, which you can check the link below. Alright, this is El Tiro. We'll see you guys later. Peace.